Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Angeline. Today's practice is a 20 minute funky arm balance flow. So it's a very short amount of time um, for this type of practice, but we're gonna give it a try, which means we're just gonna get moving pretty much right away. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we're gonna start in child's pose, knees wide or together. So I'll meet you there. Rather than your child's bows, immediately ignite the breath because we're going to get started right here. On your inhale, let's shift forward to tabletop, tent the hands, so bring up weight onto fingertips, palms up, and then start to shift your weight forward and back, forward and back, and then side to side. Hold center, cow pose, deep breath in, cat pose, exhale, round it out, press the ground away. Two more times, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to neutral. Lower those palms down to the ground now. Same thing here. Shift weight forward and back. You'll feel the weight move into the wrist crease as you shift forward and then out of it as you shift back. And then take it side to side. So since this practice is all about arm balances, we want to get these hands warm up nicely. Let's take circles now, moving the weight all the way around the palms, the fingertips, feeling the weight shift. So the movement isn't just in the knees, but you want to try to keep that weight forward into the palms. Reverse the circle. Over to the other direction now. Keep the breath alive. And bring it back to neutral. We'll take our fingertips, flip them back, stretch out through the forearms just a bit. You can let the booty drop toward the heels. I'll give you a little more stretch. If it's too much, then just back off. Now, because we are tapping into these postures again very quickly, if at any point something doesn't feel right, then don't take it or take a different variation. Okay, tuck your toes under, sit back onto your feet, release your hands, take them up towards the sky, palms face forward. Now squeeze your hands into fists and then extend those fingers up. We're gonna do that very quickly for 10 seconds. So squeeze open, squeeze open, squeeze open for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, extend the fingertips. You should definitely feel your forearms fire up. Then plant your hands down the ground, straighten out your legs, forward fold at the back of your mat. Head hangs, maybe shake it out, no, maybe not a yes. Bend the knees, drop the booty towards the heels, reach the arms up, deep breath in. Exhale, plant the palms on the ground, straighten out the legs, forward fold. One more time, inhale, bend the knees, drop the booty down. Exhale, fold forward. Walk the hands forward to plank pose. Open your feet a little wider. Hug everything in. Come up high onto your right fingertips. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, sweep that right arm behind you. Hold. Inhale, open up to a staggered side plank. Right arm goes high. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right elbow, turning on that core. Inhale, return to plank with the right arm extended forward. Exhale, lower the right hand down. Other side. Left fingertips come up to the mat. Tent the hand. Draw the belly in. Deep breath in. Exhale, fly that left arm back. Inhale, stagger side plank, left arm up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Give it a little tap. Inhale, three plank. Left arm reaches forward. Exhale, plank pose. Hold. Deep breath in, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend, exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal at the feet, bend one knee and then the other. And then lift both heels off the ground, deep breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, press your belly back to your thighs. Inhale, propel forward plank. Exhale, modify down dog, deep bend in the knees. Inhale, plank, exhale, down dog. Again, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bend it back. Adding on. Inhale, right knee, right elbow, tap it. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, left knee, left elbow. Exhale, bend the knees. Two more. In, out, left, in, 
out, right in, out, left in, out. Plank hold, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Walk your hands to your feet, back of the mat. Take your hands under your feet, gorilla pose. Wiggle out those toes. Bend the elbows, maybe lower the chest even more towards your shins. Release the hands, come into a little yogi squat. Lift up to a toe stand. So again, just to kind of get the weight into our hands before we take a, a flow here, we'll move in and out of crow pose to side crow. So I like to do this as a way to just remind myself of the shift of weight we need for our arm balances. So hands down, tap the knees, shift weight up, lower it down, twist to the right. Shift weight up, lower it down. Twist to the left. Shift weight up, lower it down. Again to the front, crow. So it's just there for not even half a second, right? We're just lifting ourselves up and rocking the weight back down. One more time all the way through. Crow, side crow right. Crow. Oh, and I had a second crow there. Side crow left. I got a little excited to add an extra curl. Okay, come back to our little toe stand. Drop the knees down, shake out the wrist. You can sit down on your heels if you'd like with your toes tucked to stretch those feet. Interlock the hands, squeeze the palms, squeeze the forearms, circle out the wrist. Reverse that circle. A little roller coaster, if you will. Reverse the direction. All right, friends, here we go. Meet in your downward facing dog. Breathe deeply and fully once you arrive. Right leg goes high, three-legged dog. Lower the left forearm to the mat. Bring your right hand to your left elbow in line with your left elbow. One elbow's bent, one forearm's on the ground. Tap the right knee to the right arm. Scoop the belly in a lot. Shift all that weight forward. Feel the weight into the fingertips. Now float left leg high. Breathe here. We went right into it. Tap the left toes down. Right leg goes high, three-legged dog. Lift the elbows. Step the right foot forward. Crescent lunge, rise on up. Reach the arms high. Take the gaze forward. Find some depth in the front leg. As you take lateral twist to the right, straighten out your front leg. Turn the gaze maybe side or maybe towards your back hand. Hold on to that twist, press the arm back. Breathe fully, breathe deeply. Keep your twist, bend your right knee. Find depth in your crescent with your lateral twist. Bring your hands down to the ground now. Palms down, ekapada variation, bend the elbows, shift the weight onto those arms, lift the feet, straight legs. Maybe one bent, one straight. Release it down, come back to your lateral twist. Entrance and exit. We're gonna to try to meet those as much as possible. Open up warrior two. Heavy through the back heel, maybe slide the front foot forward a bit. Find depth. Straight to now, star pose, reach up. Walk those feet in a little closer. Plant the hands on the ground, wide-legged fold. And definitely start to tiptoe those feet closer or heel-toe those feet closer. Slide your hands through, bend the elbows, walk the feet forward. Dangling pose or titibasana, firefly. I'm gonna work dangling pose, crossing my ankles. If you're working TT, then keep those legs nice and straight. Breathe. <clears throat> if you're in TT basana, come into dangling pose, hook the ankles. Keep your right leg wrapped around your arm. Start to send your leg out straight for half. 
Now lean the chest forward a lot. Get that right foot through and send your left leg behind you and hover it. Hold. Unwind the same way you came in. Straighten out the legs. If your booty drops down, that's okay. Bring it back, wide-legged forward fold. Whew. Take a breath in and a breath out. Rise up, star pose, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Hold your warrior two. Windmill your hands down to the ground lunge. Bring your right knee to your right arm. Shift your weight forward. Squeeze the heel towards the booty and start to float the left leg up, single leg crow. This left foot steps between the hands. Straighten out standing splits. Head drops heavy. If your wrists already feel it, turn those palms up. Take a generous breath in and out. Release that stretch if you have it. Right knee into the chest, rise on up. One legged mountain. Inhale. Figure four, exhale. Sit nice and low. So two options here. If you're working flying pigeon, then take that, hands down. If you are working baby grasshopper, grasshopper, take it to the left. And if you are working another like ecopoda variation, take it to the right. So this one is your choice. I'm gonna work baby grasshopper. So I'm gonna bring my booty down and I'm gonna twist to the left, but you work which one feels right for you. And when you're ready, come back up to your figure four. Breathe here deeply, fully. Stand tall, mountain pose, inhale. Dive it down, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now we got our second side. This is definitely a build heat, <laughs> move breath flow in this very short amount of time. So it's a great class if you have a limited time, but you really wanna kind of work on these postures. All right, left leg, high deep breath in. As you exhale, lower the right forearm to the ground. Bring your left hand in line with that right elbow. Secure your arms, keep that foundation strong. Left knee to left arm. Shift your weight forward, feel the weight move into fingertips. Maybe float that right leg up. Lower the right foot back down. As you straighten the leg out, lift the elbows, three-legged dog. Step the right, left foot, excuse me, between your palms. Rise up, crescent lunge. Both arms high, inhale. Hold on your exhale. One more in breath. Exhale, straighten out the front leg and lateral twist to the left. So we lift everything up. We guide the arm back. Maybe turn the gaze back too. Feel that connection from pelvic floor. Hold on to your twist. Bend the front knee. Find more depth. Breathe. Keep the bend of the knee. Release your hands down to the ground. Nestle yourself onto those arms as you bend the elbows for a variation. Ekapada. We're gonna keep it, come down the same back way we came in. So rise up to that crescent with lateral twist. And open up, warrior two. Take the gaze forward. Straighten up, star pose, reach up. Walk your feet in a tad. Lengthen up, forward fold, wide-legged fold. Release down. <clears throat> Walk the hands through. Start to adjust into your dangling pose or your titibhasana. Breathe. I'm gonna have to scoot myself forward because I won't have you behind me. So if you are in TT, we're gonna bring it back to our dangling pose. You'll keep your left knee bent. Squeeze the foot between the wrist. Take the right leg out straight and then take it behind you as you squeeze that left leg onto left arm. Then we'll bring the leg out to the side. 
unravel any way that feels right, right back into our white-legged forward fold. Hang here, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Rise up, star pose. Warrior two, find some depth. We mill the hands down, lunge. Walk your left knee to your left arm. Squeeze the heel to the booty. Shift all the weight and float your right leg up, single leg curl. Step your right foot between your palms. Straighten out the left leg, standing split. Turn the palms up, straighten out the arms, stretch out the wrists. Release the hands, hug the left knee into the chest. Rise on up, one-legged mountain. Right into figure four. Find some depth. All right, friends, you have three choices. Stay forward for flying pigeon. Turn to the left for another acapata. Turn to the right for grasshopper. Any of those. <laughs> when you're ready, <laughs> take your variation. Slow down the breath. And then bring it back up to your figure four. Straighten out long mountain pose, two arms high. Chest expansion grip, hands behind you, roll the shoulders back. Take the gaze up, hug, palms to touch. Tuck the chin to the chest, round it down. Fold forward with our chest expansion grip. Release the hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, bring the booty down to the ground. Lower your forearms behind you. Lift up through back of heart. We did a lot of closed chest here, so just taking a couple moments for counter pose. Lower onto your backs now, slide those arms out to a T. Knees into the chest. And rock it to the left. Nice, easy twist. Bring it back through center and rock it to the right. Bring it back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Extend the legs long, arms by your side. In our Shavasana, just three breaths here. Close the eyes, deep breath in. And out. Breath in. And out. Breath in. And out. And move them back into your hands and your feet. Rock yourself up to seated. Hands to heart center. Rub the palm. Place the left hand on the heart, right hand on top of the left. Bow the chin. Take this moment in silence to thank your body, thank your breath, thank your practice. Until next time, friends. Namaste. So it never ceases to amaze me how sometimes my practice feels so challenging. <laughs> even if I know the postures and done the postures so often. This was one of those days for me. Everything felt just a little heavier than normal and it could be because it was a shorter practice. Um, so let me know your thoughts, your comments, and if you have any requests, um, I would love to hear all that. And I'll see you all next time. So um, more videos to come on the channel. If you haven't, again, like and subscribe. If you want more, head to kinesi.com. All the info's in the comment box below. 
lots of videos there ranging from five minutes to 60. So longer classes um, and different options for different styles of classes. All right, friends. So see you all next time.